today on Grimwit Smoothie, I learned how to move a camera around, learn how to move the box around, and rotate stuff. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hi, it's Grimwit from NatEvil.com, and, um, here's that something different that I'm talking, that I was talking about. Earlier, you saw me, uh, try a little test, see whether or not Frax could record okay from my desktop, and this is that time. Okay, so, here's what this is all about. This is called Blender. Now, Blender is a free program for creating 3D models, and people like um, Captain Sparkles, for example, uses it for his Minecraft animations. Uh, it's a brilliant program. It's 100% free. Um, I have no idea how to use this, and when I went to look through tutorials on how to use these things, I, I have no clue. So. I thought I'd try something different. Uh, instead of somebody who knows how to use Blender showing you how to use Blender, um, I have no clue, and so I am going to try and use Blender. I have, I, I don't know what these do. Uh, this, this thing down here uh, looks like something about cubes. So uh, this is sort of a game. It's uh, the concept of the game is let's figure out the controls of Blender. Uh, ultimately, what I want to do is I want to make my own Minecraft uh, figure. So this is Grimwit Smoothie, where Grimwit jumps into the blender and sees what comes out. Okay, I'm slowly figuring crap out here by touching stuff, randomly clicking on buttons. I know there are hotkeys too, but I don't know what they do. Uh, okay, so, oh, alright. Um, the scroll wheel zooms in and out. Useful. Um, not, not, not sure what I'm doing here. This green arrow moves left and right. Cool. Red arrow moves forward and back, and blue arrow moves up and down. I'm left-clicking on these to change their, uh, location. So here I have a little cube. Um, what about, uh, is it, is it kind of like, uh, let's see if this is like, uh, Photoshop, to uh, shift click do anything. Mm, not do this. What about to. Whoa! 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 Okay. Oh, okay. Shift click uh, lets you move freely. That's kind of cool. I think I'm only moving from one plane. Uh, does Wads do anything? Wads does nothing, and in fact, I have no clue how to undo what I just did. No, I don't. You there. Come, come back down here. Uh, how did you, how did you get down there? <laughs> uh, whoa, okay, Z, uh, apparently switches between the regular box shape and the wireframe. Cool. And somehow that also reset my arrows. Awesome. Okay, I'm not even going to start into things like how to create a shape. Let's just work on how to move this shape. Now let's see, what does Alt, or actually Control, what does Control move do? No clue what that did. I think this is a select. Whoa! I can make neat patterns, check this shit out! Yeah, Fibonacci shellfish. Alright, so, don't know what that did though. Maybe it was the select. Uh, hmm. Okay, what does alt click do? Alt left click does nothing. Space. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Find missing file. Move down. Mo oh, this is a search command. Help. Okay, odd that there wasn't one. I'm sure there is one. What, uh, F1. Yeah, I. D no clue. Is this the help? No, these are documents for something else. Does F1 get me out of that? It does not. Uh, how do I get back to where I once belonged? And this... <laughs> this feeling of lostness... This isn't much different from a game, in my opinion. Uh, eventually I'll probably delve into the instruction booklets, which is kind of like a walkthrough, but uh, eh, I'm not too worried about it. Now, back to previous. Hey! I'm back to at least some place where I can identify... Uh, let's see... Okay, I've, I think I've dealt enough with this. What are these controls? Let's 
Let's see here. Render image animation. I don't think I want to render just yet. Render means to create an image out of what we have. Dimensions. Render presets. Oh, okay. Um, uh, why wouldn't I just be able to type that in? I'm changing dimensions. Woohoo! Frame set. Okay, this apparently is all animation stuff. Anti aliasing? No. Full sample. No, 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 no. Don't care. Sample motion blur. No. Oh, heck, why not? Whee! That did nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that off. Shading. Textures. There aren't any textures. Okay, this is nothing. So this whole thing is, I believe, just for rendering. No, this whole thing for scene. All right, what's this button do? This opens up all scene-related items. What's this button do? World. Object constraints. That kind of makes sense if you want to link objects together, I'm guessing. If you guys know how to use Blender, uh, don't worry about spoilers in this game. Go ahead, give me feedback. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, what's this one? Object modifier. You know, I'm not going to deal with that first. Let's go ahead. So, okay. Uh, transform. Translate. Rotate. Sure, I'll rotate. Whoa! Hello! Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, mister. I I've rotated. Yay. Okay. Um, scale. As soon as I click these buttons, it immediately assumes that I'm I'm wanting to change that. Uh, I can't. I still can't even figure out how to control the camera. What if I want to move like around? Oh, middle click. Hey, middle click. It was just a guess. So cool. Now I'm looking at the world. Awesome. Just think one day I'll be so good at this, people will pay me to go willy-nilly with their controls and figure their thing out. Okay, so what have we learned? Uh, the, con the camera controls, so you can at least see what you're doing, is all the middle click button. The scroll wheel scrolling in and out zooms in and out. The uh, pressing the middle click rotates that. These arrows move you back and forth, left and right, up and down. Um, these buttons over here labeled transform do something different. Oh, and it gives you the shortcut for each of these. Awesome. So if I wanted to uh, translate, I'd hit G, and that would let me just kind of go willy-nilly with it and move it around, which is, in fact, useless. So what I'm doing here, incidentally, to move this, I'm hitting G, and it's suddenly following... The, the thing is following my cursor, and then I'm left-clicking to make it stop. So rotate is R... And there we go. I'm now able to rotate it properly. Wait. And then, whoa, R again does weird, does a full rotate instead of just like, okay. So it shifts. It shifts between spin around the circle and just sort of follow the mouse as a camera would. I can't imagine using that since whenever you're making a 3D image, you would want something more... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? More precise? Like, I, I couldn't see move, using this to move objects around and getting things just right. Like, um, okay, let's... What is it? Rotate? Arm? Let's get that rotated so it's back to... Whoa. Back to normal. I want this rotated so that it's flat against the ground. There we go. That looks semi-okay, but something tells me it's not perfect. And this is what I mean. Like, I could eyeball it and say, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, this is perfectly flat on one side. But when you start looking at it from different angles, you realize, No. No, it's not flat on one side. It's wrong, Mike. It's wrong. How do I fix that? Let's figure that out. Uh, constraint access. No. Angle. Oh, angle. Right here under rotate. I'm moving it left and right. Um, surely there's something else we can do here. Proportion size. Uh, two. I want it... Whoa. Oh, that's cool. 
you can just uh, click on this size here thing and uh, click and drag and it'll change the number for you. Again, good for eyeballing, but I want to enter it in manually. 2.0. Don't don't know what proportion size is. 1.0. I'll figure that out later. Uh, smooth orientation global. Let's try normal. Don't know what I just changed there. Change it back to global. All right, but at least I can control sort of the angle. All right, well, if that's the case, let's set it to zero degrees, 0 degrees, 0.0. Now, let's look at it from... Oh, vector. Ah, uh, the vector, vector, vector. Let's say 1.0. Ah, this moves things, okay. So if I want to move it back, I could click, hold, and drag. Whoa! And it just shoots off into the distance. Not quite what I meant. How about we set that back to 0.0? .0? There we go. So that I at least know, sort of. So that's X. Here's Y. 0.0. .0 but it's not, it's not constrained to this, this grid I'm looking at. Constraint access. See if this is what I think it is. Nope. Oh, well, it didn't constrain the access. What the hell? What am I changing here? I'm doing something to it. Isn't this exciting? Um. I'm going to go ahead and call this a video, and I'll probably look through the instruction booklet, but, uh, alright, I need feedback with this, so I'm going to let this video sit for a week, and you guys can tell me what you think. Do you want to watch me fiddle with the controls of this, and we will learn together how to use Blender? This is a free program. This is uh, Blender 2.62. Absolutely free. You can go to blender.org and get this. Do you want to learn with me? Leave a comment, give me feedback, tell me what you think of this. Uh, if not, I'll just do this on my own. I don't have to record it. Uh, anyway, um, today's lesson, move the control, move the camera around with the middle click. Zoom in and out with scroll. These arrows, when left clicking, make them move up and down. Uh, we've learned sort of how to use Translate, which moves this thing around the screen. We've learned Rotate, which rotates around in a circle. Or you can hit R again, which causes it to follow your cursor. And we, we haven't even touched things like Scale or anything. And we've fiddled around with some of the controls down here where it says Grease Pencil. I, I'm pretty sure that's not what that means. Oh, it's, it's another scroll thing. Anyway, so, uh, ooh, Reset. Oh. Yay. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to call it a video. See you guys whenever.